So I've got the pigs fed and cleaned off the panels, cleaned off a couple of the other stuff that I needed to clean off. And now I'm digging out our sleds. Now we haven't been running the sleds because uh, one of them has a stretched uh, throttle cable and it's, it's kind of a mess the way that this one's set up. And I don't wanna break anything else. So we've got a friend coming over uh, to take a peek at it and go ahead and replace that. Uh, the other one, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with it. It started up just fine at the beginning of the season. We ran it a few times and now it's just, it's not running, so it won't start. So I don't know, and yes, I have gas in it. <laughs> and yes, it's good gas. I don't know what's going on with that one. Uh, I, it might just be plugs, I don't know. But honestly, we've been so busy on the homestead uh, you know getting through winter but I just haven't had time to look at it and so uh, with him coming over today we're gonna have him look at that one as well get that one up and running now the oldest one that we have which is also the piece of crap which is oh I don't know right about there right there that one runs like a champ <laughs> it's crazy uh, I mean I it's she's buried in snow right now but I'll go start that thing right up it's I guess the simpler they are, the, the easier they run. So, all right, well, I've got to clean up this, shovel this area out over here, and then uh, get, uh, get everything else cleaned up, try and get as much snow off of the sleds as I can, uh, and get those ready. And then I've already cleaned off Duke, because I'm waiting for another friend to come over, and we're gonna attack the uh, cap and rotor. I ordered a uh, ignition coil, but it won't be here. Uh, probably for another couple of days so unfortunately I can't replace that which I actually suspect is the issue but that's okay we're gonna put a new cap and rotor on it anyways give it a whirl and see what happens So as you know, uh, Duke has been down and out. Uh, Duke broke, hasn't been running in a couple of weeks, but uh, we did some work on it today and I think we figured it out. So in order for Duke to run, we need to have power to the coil. And unfortunately we haven't had power to the coil. That's the problem. On top of that, because of the uh, the Frankenstein, you know, electrical system, we have no idea what's where the the power actually comes from. It is an absolute disaster. So, in lieu of trying to figure out what the problem is, we've got a bush fix that's going to uh, provide power to the coil, which in turn will allow Duke to run. Now, in order to do all of this, uh, there's a few things I'm gonna have to do. First thing is, is I have to get some wire and we're gonna run wire from the coil into the cap. We're also gonna run wire from the battery positive end into the cab. And in the cab, we're gonna put a switch. Now that toggle switch is gonna provide power to the coil when we're ready to start Duke. And when I shut Duke off, uh, we'll turn the key and then hit the throttle 
uh, close the throttle and that'll shut the truck off. So that is the plan. So let's go to it. Okay, so we're back out here at Duke. So let me show you what we're doing. So this here is the coil. Uh, and this coil actually came out of a late model Chevy or Ford. I don't know. Anyways, this is not the original coil uh, for the Dodge, or at least for this truck. Uh, but at any rate, it's still working. So uh, what we need to do is we're going to take a, uh, a piece of wire and attach it here. We're going to run that along the firewall into the cab. We're going to run a wire from the positive on the battery. And we're going to run that into the firewall. And then we're going to attach this little uh, switch. So the reason we're doing this this way is we are basically bypassing the uh, the legacy switch and, and electronics in the truck. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because the electrical system in this truck is an absolute disaster. I've talked about that on almost every video that I talk about Duke. So by doing this, we'll be able to uh, provide power to the coil, which in turn will let me run the truck. And then when I shut the truck off, I'll just have to hit that switch and that'll shut off power to the coil, thus shutting off the engine. So uh, this is not ideal, but if it gets Duke up and running so we can plow, then that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got the switch installed. You can see it right here. And so now what we want to do is now we're going to plug on, turn on our Hulkman. We're going to try to start this thing. Get rid of my tools. We're going to hope for the best. Give it a shot. Battery dead? Oh, the battery is very dead. Yeah, the battery is very, very dead. Okay, so our enthusiasm was short-lived because uh, there is another issue now uh, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. Duke is not staying running, won't stay running. And so uh, I, I suspect that it's just cold, but I also suspect that the uh, battery uh, may need to be charged. And so I checked the battery voltage and there's, it's less than one volt so i knew that uh there was a drain on the battery because we did hardwire the lights directly to it uh and so i'm gonna take the battery in charge it up uh bring it back out here hook everything up and we're gonna give it another shot so we'll see As you just saw in the clip, uh, not really running very well. Didn't work. Uh, the new coil worked for about five minutes and then it died. But the good news here is this. I was able to confirm that the bad, that this relay, which is the ASR relay, uh, measures out bad. Uh, basically, I took an ohm meter to it, measured out the uh, the pins on it, and it's, it's bad. So we've ordered the new 
uh, new relay. Uh, I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. We've got the new coil in there. We have a new distributor cap, a new rotor, and we'll have the new relay. And we are hoping that that is all we needed to do. Uh, the only other thing we can think of would be the ECM, which is the brains, the computer of this thing. And if that is the case, then we have to retire Duke because uh, we're not going to put that kind of money into the truck. It's just not worth it. So uh, stay tuned and we will see how it goes. that came through here pretty recently which is kind of cool so the moose come into these type of brushes here and as you, you might be able to see right there they chew off the tips kind of neat it's really cool to see that there's a good one right there well we had a beautiful ride on the snow machine and uh now we're back home and it's getting a little late so we are going to call it for the day but uh tomorrow we are going to get the new relay for duke we're going to cross our fingers and cross our legs and hopefully duke starts uh, if he doesn't, then we'll have to figure the, the next steps out. Uh, if it does, then we are going to get back onto the ceiling and try to get that ceiling done this week. So we've got a big storm coming in a few days. So we would hope that uh, that Duke is running and that we get the ceiling done uh, before then, simply because of the fact that I don't want to be coming in and out during a snowstorm. So be that as it may, We'll see what happens. All right. Well, thanks for sticking around watching this video. Uh, if you haven't done so, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next video. Get him, Ma. Get the boys.